Okay guys, Ham Solo here, K0FYR, or in GMRS World, Whiskey Romeo Mike Victor 759. Uh, what I'm doing is a test to show you the difference between narrow band and wide band on your radio, and why normally uh, most GMRS channels are always set to wide band. And so, I have my Ocean KGUV9G Pro, and I am going to test out the difference between narrow and wide band. And so, behind me, I have set up my SDR uh, on my laptop computer, and I am going to turn the camera around and show you that. So, stand by. Alright, so what you have here is an SDR dongle, and this is basically available from Amazon or uh, any type of online store you can get them for around 25 dollars or so and uh, i have a antenna that i'm using a baking sheet as a ground plane but it's a quarter wave about 45 inch antenna and i have that sitting there on the ground and that is running in my program and there's several different uh, free programs that you can use this one is called uh hd sdr and so the first thing I'm going to do is I am actually tuned to channel 462575, which is channel 16 DMR. And I'm going to key up, and this is in narrow band. And so if you can see up here on the top screen, I'm going to be right here on this frequency, 462575, right there. And I'm keying up on narrow band. Whiskey Romeo, Mike Victor, 759. Oh, I'm sorry, I was on the wrong, <laughs> I was on the wrong channel. <laughs> okay, let's try it again. So this is Narrow Man. Whiskey Romeo, Mike Victor, 759. And so it shows you the amount of spectra that I'm using. And basically, uh, narrow banding is 12.5 kilohertz. Whiskey Romeo, Mike Victor, 759. And so I should be dropping down in the neighborhood of about, I'd say, 6 or 7 kilohertz on either side of the carrier frequency, which is going to be 462.575. So I should go 6 kilohertz down this way and about 6 kilohertz down or up this way. And it should cover in between the two. That's narrow band. Whiskey Romeo, Mike Victor, 759. And that looks like, for the most part, that's where the majority of the signal is. Now I'm going to take the radio and I'm going to switch in the menu and go to wide. On the same frequency. Whiskey Romeo, Mike Victor, 759. And see how wide now the signal is compared to what it was before? So before... I was only dropping down about, you know, six-ish kilohertz on either side. Now I'm going almost 10 to 12 on either side because this is 25 kilohertz on a wide signal. Whiskey Romeo, Mike Victor, 759. And so see how the spread out is much more on either side as compared to the much more focus that it was before in the middle. Now it's spreading out much farther on either side. Wide band. Whiskey Romeo, Mike Victor, 759, wideband. Whiskey Romeo, Mike Victor, 759. And so that's a pretty broad signal. Let's see if I can quickly switch back over to narrow. Whiskey Romeo, Mike Victor, 759. Much shorter signal compared to the one above it. Do you see the difference? So I'll do that one more time. This is narrow band. Whiskey Romeo, Mike Victor, 759. Now let me switch. Whiskey Romeo, Mike Victor, 759. See the difference? Whiskey Romeo, well, that's not in there yet. Whiskey Romeo, Mike Victor, 759. That's wide, narrow. Whiskey Romeo, Mike Victor, 759. Oh, I think it stayed on wide. Whiskey Romeo, Mike Victor, 759. So the depth of the signal is much less. Now, 
the difference that it makes when you're using your radio is yeah you can stack more channels in narrow and so you can put a channel every basically 12 and a half kilohertz you can have a channel and that's why channels uh, 8 through 14 is it let me look at my radio real quick yeah channel 8 to 14 are the narrow band channels or what they call the interstitial channels and so those are stacked every 12 and a half megahertz is one of those channels. And the normal GMRS channels, 1 through 8, they're 1 through 7, we had 15 through 22, are wideband. They're, they're going basically between uh, 4250 is one channel, 4275 is another channel, it's 25 uh, bandwidth because your signal is spreading out in between each one of those uh, so that you can, you know, have more people talking and you, and they're not overlapping too much uh, when you have that big spread. So I'm on narrow right now. Let me switch back to wide. Goodness. All right, got it. Whiskey Romeo, Mike Victor, 759. And so if somebody was on 42550, which is channel 15 and talking, he'd be spread out almost to the same area. And so he's talking here, I'm talking there, the next channel talks there. But if you do narrow, switch back to narrow. Whiskey Romeo, Mike Victor, 759. Now you can have somebody here and somebody here and somebody here. The problem when you have somebody who has a, their entire radio on narrow band is that when they talk to you, it's going to be a lot quieter than people who have the radio set on wide band because they're not taking up as much space. They're not going to get as much sound out. You're going to have to listen uh, harder to hear them because they're not taking up all the 25 kilohertz that they should. They're only taking up 12 and a half. And then also they can't reach as far because they're they're using a much narrower bandwidth, and so their radio is more generally designed for shorter communications, and that's why all those interstitial frequencies that use narrow banding usually the highest power they'll do is, you know, half a kilowatt or I'm sorry half a watt because they're not going that far. It's not supposed to be long distance communication with that narrow banding. Now, somebody who accidentally sets their radio on narrow banding for every single channel, well, they're going to sound a lot quieter to you, quieter to you than if they were on wideband taking up more bandwidth on the radio. And so, again, this is narrow band. Whiskey Romeo Mike Victor 759. And wide. Whiskey Romeo Mike Victor 759. See how much more signal there is between the two? And that's it in a nutshell. That is the difference between narrow band and wide band from just a generic signal amount and frequency and uh, amount of sound that comes out and the difference of why they stack so many channels in between is because they're using less bandwidth on narrow than we do on wide. And most of your amateur radios, GMRS or whatever, we're supposed to be rebanded to wide, but there's a, a still an amount of time that you can use it. Most radios still do it. Most ham radios and uh, GMRS and, and even MERS use uh, wide banding, 25 kilohertz or so. All right, appreciate you watching. This is Ham Solo K0FYR Whiskey Romeo Mike Victor 759 73.